I you know, I probably here. don't have enough exposure. I probably have taken, I've taken down my exposure. So um, I'm still long. Um, but, you know, not, not um, I would, in percentage terms of S&P type exposure, might be, you know, 25% or something of that sort. And that's been wrong because the market's been very hot. And, and the problem for people like me is I've had that expressed with, um, you know, long individual stocks and, and short, uh, um, you know, futures of some sort or, you know, the market in some fashion. Uh, and, and quite frankly, our stocks have uh, not done that well this quarter, which you probably know. You're going to ask me one, or next or something like that, right? Well, we'll talk about some All of right, your great. individual stocks. All but you say 25% exposure to the, the S&P or to, to equivalent, stocks. Equivalent. Okay. So some might hear that and say, wow, Tepper's only 25% exposed to, to U.S. stocks. Historically, though, you're, where are you usually around? For, I'm not for usually exposure? anywhere. I've been zero. I've been negative, I've been positive. Look, I'm just not sure what happens with this tariff. And, I'm, and I described the market to you overall, a fair valued market. Now, if it's a fair valued market, that means historically fair valued markets will go up 8% the next year. That's what they do. So from one year from now, if there's no tariffs and, and everything's hunky-dory, that's what you would expect, 8% growth from right now. That'd be great. You should be totally exposed because it's a good return. However, if you put those tariffs in the, and if you put 25% um, of 500 uh, billion, you know, if they don't intervene, if they don't intervene, the Chinese don't intervene, you could argue for the currency to go, you know, up in the, to the high sevens towards eight, just mathematically. Do you think we're going to get a deal with China? And, and if we do, what do you think it would mean for stocks? Some, some say it could mean as much as a 10 percent pop if we get a trade deal with China. I, I don't know what, again, I don't know what's in, how much is discounted in the market and how what they're discounting. I don't, 10 percent would would be a bit too much right now in my mind because I think it's kind of more like fair value right now. But yeah, you can get it. Listen, as I said, extra innings. Extra innings happen. You know, markets go 10 or 15 percent over value sometimes. Fair value doesn't mean you can't go higher. It just means you have to be cautious. And by the way, the other side of that is if you have the China stuff, you know, come on, you can go, you'll go down. You know, so, and then, you know, correcting to that currency. If you get a if you get a 10% move in the Chinese currency or 15% of the move in the Chinese currency and a 10% move in the, in, in the euro at that point in time, what does that, what ha, what does that mean in the same dollars you're bringing home um, you know, around the world? Because you're going to get different moves in different currencies against the U.S. And if 50% of the S&P, just put a number out there, is, is across the world, that means earnings are going to be down because of that. And you have to discount that in the price of the stock. And, that, and I, I can guarantee you this market is not doing that. And that's the mechanism the market would be challenged if that happens. But look, it's, it, is a, it is a late inning game when it's an early inning game. And listen, in 09, and we were you know, out there, nobody else was out there, 100% invested. We made a lot of money. Now I've been, I've been too cautious, I think, you know, recently. Um, you know, maybe I have too much money, I don't know. You know, so, um, do you have? I mean, you're sitting in some cash. You have some cash that you can. You'll, if you I'm put 20, to work? yeah, yeah, I have cash I can put to well, work. You could be invested. Other, other I can listen. Well. I can change things very fast. Okay, if I, if we did something, with, you know, China was um, solved somehow, which I don't think is so easy to do. Mm -hmm. Listen, it may be this. We may have to get used to that. These tariffs just may be on. Okay, and then there will be a, an adjustment in the stock market. You know, whatever it is, a five, ten percent, whatever, fifteen percent. 20% adjustment, then you'll move up from there. And, and, and look, that's what will be. You know, and, and whatever that adjustment costs, that currency adjusts, that's what will happen. If that's the way it goes, it are, will go that way. Are, are you surprised that the market has seemingly ignored almost anything that has punched it in the gut or, or the face, um, whether it's trade, North Korea, I'm a anything. little surprised at how, at the level it is right now. Okay, a little surprised at it. I'm not totally surprised. But a little surprised. So I, like I said, I don't think everything's discounted in this price right now. So I do think, though, if you do get, you know, if you do get, and, and again, I'm, listen, I'm a very patriotic American citizen, okay? I do think we have to protect our, 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 our national um, jewels, our technology. So this is a very serious matter. And, you know, when you have very serious matters, sometimes you might have to take a little pain. It's just the way it goes.